Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive and a peach dream apparently. If you're new here, welcome. I have an awful fucking mouth. I use fuck as a comma. If you're not okay with that, that's fine and acceptable. Feel free to watch someone else. But please X out the video here. No harm, no foul. I will not get offended, but I will remember our time so fondly. If you want to just jump straight to the reveal, I'll leave a time code down below. Feel free to jump ahead. If you're new here, I have a coworker named Bob. Bob is a special fellow. Bob's in a category all of his own. I'm going to leave a couple of links up here to some good story times with Bob because <laughs> you can't make this shit up. <laughs> so feel free to watch those videos. You don't have to watch the actual makeup review. Who gives a shit about that? Just watch Bob. He is a fucking national treasure. Uh, so the other day, by my desk is actually a candy cauldron. Yep, it's a, it's a cauldron full of candy. It's exactly what it is. And since it's Halloween and I like to keep the office spooky and festive, people in the office usually replenish the little cauldron and, you know, we have treats or whatever. So basically it's open for anybody in the office. You want to come, get a treat, go back to your desk, try not to kill yourself. That's literally what the, the treat cauldron's all about. And so me and Bob have been working pretty closely together. Too closely and it's getting uncomfortable. <laughs> So lately, me and Bob actually have been working together a lot, and it's just, just blah, blah, really fucking annoying. So the other day, he comes by my desk, and he had to tell me something, but instead he puts his hand into the treat cauldron, pulls out a York peppermint patty, unwraps it, comes into my cubicle, like unbearably close, drops the wrapper in my waste basket, and then is talking to me going, Teresa, I, 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 don't, I don't know what's going on with this. I don't know what's going on with this. This is the York Peppermint Patty. I'm gonna put one here. Bam, look, magic of editing. This is what he did, and I shit you not. He's like, I, I, I just don't get it. You know, I, I'm trying to do one thing. I'm trying to do something else, but I don't know what to do. I was like, how did you miss that? So I literally didn't say anything. I was like this trying to help people out here. He kept missing it. So finally I just said, Bob, a little to the left. And he went, huh? I said, just turn your head to the left. Oh, oh. I was like, fucking, this is not real. <laughs> I actually thought the water spilling on him, the time that he actually took a drink of water, completely missed his mouth, didn't react to it. I thought that was my favorite. No, no, no. The York peppermint patty is my favorite now. Oh, fucking Bob. I was just like, I was so stunned. There was no words that came out of my mouth. I was just like, you're, you're a fucking treat. <laughs> so whatever, he went back to his desk and we just had weird, awkward conversations all day. And so for the remainder of the afternoon, Bob would just send emails, not wait for me to respond, but instead march over to my desk and ask me to respond in person. Cause that's the kind of guy Bob is. But every time he would do that, he would reach his grubby little hand <laughs> into that fucking treat cauldron. And I would either watch him miss eating his treats with his mouth or watching him choke on M&Ms. I, I don't know which one is funnier. <laughs> Please let me know down below, what do you think is funny? <laughs> watching a man choke on plain M&Ms or watching him completely miss eating a York peppermint patty. I don't know, either way, it was a win in my book. So yeah, Bob is a real fucking treat.
On today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I really wanted to try this foundation, but when it came out, it was only available on the Revolution Makeup Revolution whatever website. And um, two things. One, I didn't want to pay for shipping, and I, as an American, is very impatient. So yeah, I figured I would just wait to get it in Ulta. <laughs> when I actually heard it was available in Ulta, I was in Maine. I went to several different stores in Maine and nobody had it. Nobody. And it was so upsetting. <laughs> Hashtag first world problems. So what I did was ordered it on Ulta. I took a year and a day to get here. I imagine by carrier pigeon, but whatever. It arrived and I've been wearing it for the past couple of days. Let me read you a little bit about this foundation. This little guy retails for $12 and it comes in a whopping 24 shades, which is not good. But not bad either. Somewhere in the middle. Makeup Revolution's Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation offers a lightweight yet buildable coverage in 24 true skin shades. This versatile foundation is designed to suit every skin type and tone. With an oil-free yet creamy and comfortable formula that dries down to a long-lasting demi-matte finish. It won't settle into fine lines or cling to dry patches. Housed in a luxe glass bottle with a jumbo doe foot applicator for greater control and less waste, this foundation offers highly pigmented coverage that can be layered or diffused to suit your look. Swipe up and blend out to ramp up the coverage for a real skin finish that diffuses blemishes and uneven skin tone. Or let your complexion's natural character shine through using a small amount with a damp beauty sponge for veil-like coverage. Follow with your favorite shades of Conceal and Define Concealer to highlight, contour, and conceal. That was a mouthful. Okay. Now with that said, this little foundation, I've been wearing it for a couple of days now. I noticed, and maybe it's because we're experiencing really good weather in New York currently. It has been like in the 60s for the most part. I didn't have any sort of true issue with this foundation. I actually really like it. For $12, it's actually pretty fucking good. So on this side of my face, I applied it with a dampen beauty sponge, a Japanese beauty sponge. On the other side, I used a brush. I know, me use a brush? Who the fuck am I? I know I've said in the past that I hate brushes, but I take that back because I found this brush. And this brush is a Luxie airbrush foundation brush and I received this in my boxy lux box that was last month yep in any case this is probably my most favorite thing out of that whole box I use it almost every day and I love Luxie Luxie is great so Luxie if you are watching I'm willing to either sell my firstborn or my soul just for a box of brushes so my info is down below feel free to contact me I would be very happy to give you my soul. If you want some blood and skin, you can have that too, because I love your brushes that much. And I'm also going to Generation Beauty, which if you do not know what that is, Generation Beauty is actually run by Ipsy. I went to last year's event in New York in September. This year, it's actually gonna be this weekend, this Saturday and Sunday. I'm gonna go for Saturday. So it's at the Jacob Javits Center. If any of you guys are going, come say hello to me, come find me. I'm gonna be doing a meet and greet by the bathroom. Be prepared for some smells but I think it's gonna be great. I'm actually going with my mom. So yeah, if you are going, come say hi. I don't bite unless you want me to, that costs extra. The reason why I'm super excited to go to Generation Beauty because Lexi is one of the brands that is going to be there. So I cannot wait to suck that brand's dick to try to get something out of them because boy howdy, their brushes really make me so happy. In any case, back to the foundation because that's why we're here. I got two different shades. I got F1. F3. I wound up sticking with F3 because it kind of looked more true to my skin tone. F1 was way too light for me. I don't know what the fuck I was smoking. I think I just got way too excited from eating way too much lobster in Maine that I just ordered two, but in reality I just needed F3. And I should have realized that because I have the Makeup Revolution stick one, the stick foundation, which honestly is one of my favorite foundations and it's well used and well loved and, and looks like I shoved this in someone's asshole last night. So I apologize. It looks really dirty, <laughs> but um, I do love their foundation. I think it's awesome. So I was very excited to try this. And this is obviously a dead ringer for the Tarte Shape Tape debacle foundation. So that's cool. I do love the giant doe foot applicator. It actually works very well. Now I have normal combination-ish, but normal for the most part, skin type. For $12, I really do like this foundation. I think it's probably one of the better foundations that I have tried. I've worn it for the past couple of days and I experienced no real weird issues with it. I think it looks really good up from when you put it on to when I take it off at the end of the night. Yesterday, I was at work for uh, 10 hours yesterday. And when I came home last night, it probably was the worst that it ever looked and it didn't even look that bad. Unfortunately, I don't have footage because I didn't feel too well last night, so I didn't record anything. So my apologies. You can tell that my foundation was gone from my T-zone areas. Everything else kind of looked okay. There, you could tell that there were patches that looked a little bit more pancake-y, but nothing too crazy. I think if you're up close into my face, you'd be like, ooh, girl. But from this distance, it was like, oh, 
oh, okay. So basically I looked like a Monet for the most part last night. So it wasn't that bad. Oh, as if. I did find that when I use this on all three days, this shit dries down really fast. So you have to work really fast when using it. When you do, it actually leaves a very nice kind of powdery finish. Almost very similar to the Beauty Blender foundation. I also felt this was incredibly lightweight. I don't feel like I have this on my face at all, which I love that in a foundation. Here's the thing about it. It says it doesn't settle into fine lines. That's a fucking lie. It completely does. And I feel like it's almost expected. It's a drugstore foundation. This shit can't cure cancer. So if you are in your 20s and you have beautiful, glowy, radiant skin, you're not going to have this problem. So skedaddle, kid. Or are you someone like me, a girl in her 30s? with a birthday fastly approaching. And every time you look in the mirror, you see one more gray hair. You see one more fine line that keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And some weird patches of eczema that you can't quite explain. You start to think, is there any meaning to this life? Am I ever gonna get out of student loan debt? Am I gonna really die alone and penniless and no one's gonna remember me? Well, let me show you where the foundation settles into those fine lines. So every time you see it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so over here, <laughs> Welcome to Teresa's dad. <laughs> hmm. So as you can see, I have it settling over here and also up through the little stress ladder of lifelines up here. You can tell that it's actually kind of settling in. And I found that it actually settles in a lot quicker than it should. When I initially put this makeup on within two hours, it was like literally like just like it was like creasing, like pfft. once I kind of like dabbed it out with the beauty sponge, it looked a little better, but over time it just kind of keeps collecting there. So I think the claim of it not settling into your fine lines is a little bit bullshit. So if you have perfect skin, you don't have to worry about it, bitch, you have no wrinkles. But if you're someone like me or above, we got some problems. <laughs> but again, it's not too bad. I'm not that upset about it only because it's $12. Had to spend $60, I think I would have been writing angry letters to the company, but $12, meh, it's fine. I'm not gonna complain about it too much. Other than that, I think it actually wears very beautifully and I really do like how it looks on my skin. I also like that I look healthy. I feel like this foundation makes me look healthy and not dead and that's always a fucking plus in my book. So I'm a fan of this. This is comes in only 24 shades. So what I will say is that not everybody is gonna be able to try it and that sucks because this is 2018 and make a brand should be more inclusive and think about everybody especially at a $12 price point when you see brands like CoverGirl that came out with like 40 plus or NYX that came out with 40 plus or whatever the case may be is there's really no excuse for makeup revolution revolution beauty whatever the fuck you're called I do hope that more shades are going to be announced soon so more people can try this out. So if you're in the market for a new drugstore foundation, I do not think you'll be disappointed. I actually had a really good time with it and I look forward to continuing to use it because it's actually way better than most expensive foundations I've tried. In that case, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. And follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. So I guess I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.